What's up, y'all? Happy New Year! It's your girl Chanel from Complex Simplicity. It has been a while. It probably has almost been three weeks. Um, the holidays came. <laughs> I feel like they came real quick. <laughs> um, y'all know I work in, at Coach. I'm in luxury retail. And so holiday time is Manus and Mayhem. It's a crazy time. Um, and so I've been busy, busy, busy working and entertaining family, friends, and personal projects and so much more. Um, and so I'm excited to say that 2019 is here. I have lived to see another year um, and I'm excited for what's to come this year. You know, I, I'm bracing myself for the challenges that may come my way, par for the course, the thing called life we all live, right? But at the same time, I am uber excited for like all of the blessings and the amazing opportunities and just living life you know what i'm saying life is so short as i always say as many always say and so i'm just excited to have another year so far to be able to explore experience um go hard in the paint <laughs> and so much more um so just to give you an update you know my day job at coach things are going amazingly well thanks be to god your girl is continuously top seller every month so far um pray my continued strength as it can be a bit stressful when it comes to numbers games and just you know staying on top of the game or my game because there's so much more that I want within the company and so me being able to show and prove my abilities in my current role um, will only help me to get further along and grow and go up the totem pole so to speak and so it's very very important for me to make sure that I work my ass off to be top seller every month and make my goals and things of that nature a lot of people have it twisted out here thinking that if you work in retail it means you work um off a of commission i do not work off a of commission i get my money every two weeks like everybody else the only difference is is that when i make my goals and when we as a store make our goals as a team then we're getting extra checks and i know everybody wants extra money out there right so i work hard as well along with my my fellow team to be able to make those goals and and, and get extra money and and do the damn thing at our location and so um because i also have other dreams within the company that i would love to achieve higher positions i would love to um grow to or be promoted to it's important for me individually as well to show and prove my abilities, my capabilities, and just go hard. Um, so uh, thanks be to God, since I've been promoted, I was promoted in October as part of the management team. Um, I have been, you know, really, really doing well and thriving and learning and enjoying the journey, enjoying the people that I work with. I work with a lot of 20 something year olds, but they help to fuel me because they're hungry, they're young, they're intelligent. And um, it's inspiring to see their energy and their fire as well. Um, and so I'm thankful, continue to bear your girl up in prayer, just with 
my overall journey. I've been very transparent and vulnerable about this whole career change, how it started and all of that craziness. And so just to see four months later, you know, um, feeling like I'm where I'm supposed to be is such an amazing feeling. Um, and so that's been going on with the day job. You know, Christmas is a huge deal in retail. And so I've just been working, grinding, grinding, working, meeting awesome customers, um, interacting with people, something that I love to do. And um, it's been a grind. And on top of that, still balancing it all with my husband. You know, my marriage is very important to me and pretty much comes first, other than God, of course. Um, sorry, I dropped something. So, you know, continuing to cultivate that. My husband is a fireman. His schedule is crazy. My schedule is crazy. But thank God we've been able to still spend a lot of time and, and, and especially this holiday season, like reconnect in a, in, a, in a different way. And I love when that happens, when the married folks out there probably understand, or if you've been in a relationship for a very long time, you may also understand what I'm saying, where life happens. Life doesn't stop, it just keeps moving, it just keeps going. And it's easy to get into a routine and a, and a normal rhythm, but when you're able to still take time um, and sit back and appreciate you know, one another and, and fall even in more love with one another and just, you know, have these cherishable moments such as the holidays to be with one another, understanding that life is short. Um, those things warm my heart. New Year's Eve, my husband and I, we kind of have this new tradition we're doing now. We, this is the second year that we did it where we go to Costco or any grocery store of our choice. You know, we buy steak, we buy shrimp, um, some potatoes to make dirty mash. And, you know, we have our cocktails this year. I mean, I always have my wine, but this year my husband and I, you know, had a nice little couple of shots or cheers with um, some Johnny Walker um, blue label. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. So it's like a nice little tradition that we're doing where we kind of keep it in, we keep it simple. You know, we had a lot of turn up time for the holidays, for Christmas time. And so... I was like, babe, all this work, and I just want to hang out and chill. As long as I'm with you, I'm good. I don't need to be in any party setting. I don't need to be in, like, this whole turn-up environment. Like, I'm in the house. I'm with you. We're, I'm good, you know? And he kind of agreed and was like, yeah, love. Like, I don't feel like doing much of anything like that, you know? We be together. We hang out. Have a great dinner. Spend time, you know? Um, and so that meant a lot and was super dope. Um, and for Christmas, you know, we did have our party with our, you know, younger family members and friends, um, where that's more of the turn up time. And then we hosted my family, my parents, my brother, his wife, Christmas day. So had a lot going on in December aside from working, still grinding. That's just my day job at coach, right? But I'm still always grinding. Um, when it comes to complex simplicity, candid talk with Chanel is really going to be a huge focus in 2019 now that we're here. Um, I don't want to reveal everything just yet, but things are coming together so well and you'll, you'll see soon what I've been working on and what I have up my sleeve. Um, and so I've been kind of doing a lot of preparation for what's to come with Candid Talk with Chanel. Um, back in November, I started um, working on music again. And so I also have Move with Finesse with my girl niece. She's more like a sister to me, um, where we've had um, a few classes now. I know we probably had three classes in total, two classes, three classes in total. And the last class we did last week, last Friday, um, we were hired. A uh, young lady was turning 31 years old and she wanted to hire us, um, have her friends come. And, you know, they booked us to like do this nice turn up birthday dance class edition session, which was so much fun. Um, and so been grinding and, and further um, building move with finesse with my girl Denise. And so your girl has been busy. <laughs> um, but thankful nonetheless is how I like to be. Um, I love to let my creative juices flow and I can honestly say, in hindsight, when I reflect on 2018, I'm most proud of myself for the fact that I never gave up. It didn't matter if the odds were against me. It didn't matter if there were haters and naysayers. I have not given up on complex simplicity. I was able to launch a move with finesse with my girlfriend. Um, haven't given up on that, even when the odds were kind of stacked against us a bit and still are in some ways. Um, have been able to switch careers and deal with the debacle from my last job and standing up for a colleague, which put me in a compromising situation, but seeing how God used that to get me out for me to be where I am. 
um, for me to really be able to like start a career that I've always wanted to be a part of and still killing the game and thriving in that so far. And so I'm just glad that I had the balls, the gall, the fight, the fuel, the confidence to just go for it, y'all, as I've been saying a lot lately, to just jump off a cliff, metaphorically speaking, um, to, to make my dreams come true. You know, I don't have forever and a day to keep putting things off until tomorrow. And so I'm just most proud of myself for the fact that regardless of what was surrounding me, what the odds were that were stacked against me, that I had the confidence and the drive um, to want to succeed and to go hard and forge forward. And I just want to encourage you out there as well, you know, if there's any desire that you have within your heart, something that you want to accomplish within your life, please do not hesitate. Don't let the naysayer in your own head stop you. Definitely don't let naysayers around you stop you. Like, go for it. Or half of these things, all these things that I've put my hands to do to start building and to, to work on, it just takes one step. And then after that, that first step, you take that next step and you just keep taking steps. You know, of course it's strategic thinking and of course it's, you know, a lot of research. And yes, it does require discipline because when you're building a brand, nobody is going to be like, hello, did you do this? Did you do this? Did you stay on top of this? Are you gonna do this? You know, when you're, me, I'm building. I don't have a whole team of people who are like working complex simplicity for me when I'm working my day job. You know, it's me working every aspect of it by myself. Move of finesse is great because I'm in it with a good girlfriend of mine. And so we're collaboratively working together. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's great when you're able to just build it from scratch y'all like the rewarding feeling is that much better to others they may be like mm, i ain't with that that's whack who cares but for me i know the hard work it takes and just the fact of keeping it pushing keeping it moving you know still grinding building making it happen when that young lady booked us for her birthday party i might have said this in the vlog before there was um it, it fell in our lap like we weren't out here seeking and soliciting business we were just trying to con have continual classes happen because i feel like with our pop-up classes that we first started um initially when it was three of us as choreographers they were like so far and few in between right so once my girl denise and i realized it was just us in this and we were in it to win it we were like bump all that pop-up stuff this is all about Dan like we're continuously going to be here as, as long as we can be right there is no hey we're popping up hey hey no we're here and we're going to continue to be here rock out with us this is what we're about you know um and so now for us the focus was just being able to have consecutive continuous classes right hip-hop dance classes beginner level had no idea that a young lady was gonna wanna book us, right? Had no idea that we were gonna finally be able to find a dance studio in the Bronx, which is part of my initial vision months ago, um, that we can call our home, where the owner is going to also filter people to our classes, you know? Um, and so just to see how things pan out without you even like going extra or doing the most for it, like the, that's how you know what's meant to be is meant to be. Um, and so it's meant to be move a finesse. My girl, niece and I, this is meant to be. We're here to grow it. We're here to come to a dance floor near you. We're here for the experience of it all. Yes, you're gonna learn some dope beginner level hip hop choreography. We will be dancing to all kinds of music that span R&B, hip hop, old school, reggae, whatever, myriad of different things. But what we really want people to walk away with when they experience our classes is feeling uplifted, empowered, encouraged, um, more confident, more self-love. Like there's so much more of a deeper meaning behind our classes than just the movement. Um, complex simplicity, y'all already know by now, pretty much stands on the same premise. Thought-provoking material um, that is empowering, encouraging, uplifting. Um, helps us to be more self-aware, more emotionally balanced, helps us to love ourselves even more, love one another, positivity, love, 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 all of that good stuff. And so um, don't believe me, just watch. Continue to rock out with your girl. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. All of, to all of you who have been rocking out with me from 
2016, from 2017, from 2018, even if you just started rocking with me today, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. You have no idea what that means. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, I was also reminded because you know the devil loves to pry his uh, paws into things, you know, maybe the, a day or two before the year ended. Um, I post a lot of my thought-provoking candid, candid talk with Chanel or just overall complex simplicity. Every day on my social media I try to put, or at least several times a week I try to put up um, encouraging, thought-provoking quotes, right? And so I put one up about emotional maturity and just us trying to strive to be more self-aware of where we stand in that area. Um, and I, when I talk about these topics, it's not to come off as if I'm a know-it-all or I'm the guru or the, the soothsayer, so to speak, but just in my experiences from my last um, job in social work, my experiences in, within my own life, my experiences with the people around me in my life, my experiences just even hearing what my mom went through in her childhood um, throughout my life, I've seen that a lot of there still are a lot of us who are not necessarily functioning at the age we are biologically, emotionally, if that makes sense. And I, you know, I made a statement that I am a 35 year old woman, but I've always been more mature for my age since I can remember. And I said, I, I can maybe attribute that to how I grew up, you know, um, in my childhood. It may also be attributed to just what's in me, in my DNA, whatever reasons. Um, I always make it very clear Thanks be to Jesus, I had a, an amazing childhood. And I don't care what anyone says, I'm proud of that. And I believe that that is why I am, a huge reason why I am the person, the woman that I am today who is emotionally balanced. Um, it doesn't mean that I don't have my shortcomings. It doesn't mean that I don't even have my own issues. It means that I'm able to respond to my environment. I'm able to think in a level-headed manner. I'm able to, um, Regardless of whether my feelings are hurt or not, I'm able to take accountability for my own actions. I'm able to know what I'm looking at in the behavior of myself and behavior of others, and the list goes on. Um, I'm not flying off the handle, cursing people out because I feel some kind of way about something. There, I have emotional balance that I don't believe that I need to um, see a psychologist or even be a psychologist to be able to determine um, my own emotional balance or someone else's emotional maturity and balance, so to speak. And so, uh, yes, a big part of my brand is I'm discussing thought-provoking topics, the things that we don't want to talk about, the things that we don't want to ask ourselves, the hard questions we don't want to deal with, right? Um, the mirror that we don't want to face. That is a huge part of complex simplicity. Um, and so, there were some who were very vocal. Normally I would just post these kinds of things under complex simplicity, but there every now and then I'll post it under my personal social media as well as complex simplicity so, um, social media. And so for that particular um, post I did on emotional maturity and us just being aware of where we stand with that, you know, is it that our parents maybe didn't prepare us for adulthood the way they should? Is it that um, we were coddled a little bit too much or is it that for whatever reasons, maybe we have some of our own emotional mental health challenges, it happens. Like, regardless of what it is, or it's important, I believe, for us to understand where it stems from and to try to work to get to a place where we are emotionally balanced, where we are in sync, at least with our age, meaning not being a 35 year old, but kind of behaving and, and acting as though you're 22. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, if there are mental health concerns and challenges and diagnosis, that's totally different. I get that. Um, and those are things that do still need some level of intervention um, professionally with clinicians, psychologists, psychiatrists, whatever. Um, but just on a day-to-day, -day, I still think we as humans should be able to, to put that mirror up and look at ourselves to say, where do I fall? Where do I stand with that? So yes, I'm very emotionally balanced. I'm mature for my age, but even then I'm still like Chanel, but you can get better with your, 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 your financial responsibility, your fiscal responsibility, how you are with money. Okay, that's great Chanel, but you can also stand to get better with this, right? Um, and so 
as I always say, I'm a part of the I'm a part of the conversation. It's never that I'm above it, looking down, like you know. But there were a few people who I do know um, who you know commented, and um, you know some commented with uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for with good intentions, and then there were some who commented with ill will, and I addressed all of that accordingly with class, kept it cute, but still standing firm to my initial perspective. Um, and so I say all of that to say this, there are going to be times where our messages may be challenged and it's okay. I don't expect for everybody to agree with me. I'm not saying that everything that I assess and think is right. Um, but I just like to be able to share my perspective, um, as something else to maybe keep in mind, keep, you know, to think about, so to speak. Um, I'm open to hearing other people's perspectives. What I will also say is there are going to be those people for whatever reasons, whether they're jealous, they're threatened by you, they're in their feelings about maybe why the relationship hasn't moved past or friendship hasn't moved past a certain place um, that they would like it to, that'll always come across or that'll target you in a way that is uncomfortable, it's not a good feeling, but stand strong, stand strong. Um, and, and don't let anyone water down your message, whatever that is. If you believe in it, you stand firm to it. Yes, be open, hear other people out, handle things with class, you know, um, take the high road, of course, but, you know, in your own way, professionally check them if necessary. Um, but more importantly, hold fast to whatever it is that your message is and what you believe in. Don't let other people, whether they're people who have been in your life, who are in your life, you know, make you feel like um, you're not qualified to share your perspective or, you know, whatever platform you're building for yourself that you, you should be muzzled, so to speak. Like, get the hell out of here with that shit. Like, do you? <laughs> and stand firm behind what you believe. Um, I know I'm always going to stand firm in my belief system. I'm open. I'm, I'm, I pride myself on working hard to be non-judgmental. Um, but at the same time, I believe in my message and I stand behind my message. And if you don't agree with it, that is fine. If you do, continue to rock out with your girl, you know, but at the end of the day, nobody's going to filter me, water my message down, make me feel like I should not, you know, um, say or, or discuss the topics that I discuss, whether you agree with it or not, you know, um, you're coming onto my website or my social media this is my platform to say whatever the hell I want to say and trust and believe. I'm just not out here just flying off the handle, talking all kinds of craziness. Like there, there's experiences that back up what I'm saying and, um, just don't let nobody censor you, water you down, your message down, I should say. Don't let anyone make you feel or think twice about whatever it is you have in your heart, whatever it is your purpose to do. I also put up today a thought on how when, when we're threats to other people, that's how we become the target, right? But stand firm. Don't let anyone make you feel scared or scurry with your tail in between your legs. Do you, you know, um, a lot of times when people are threatened, that's their issue. That's their problem. If you know that you didn't do anything, um, to, to anyone or to a degree that would put them, um, in a bad place, physically, emotionally, mentally, all that kind of stuff. Like, listen, that's your issue. That's your problem. You know, don't let anyone make you feel like, you know, um, you have to be targeted because they're threatened. At the end of the day, I always believe that God is gonna protect us and preserve us. You know, when you do good in life, good things happen and come to you. Blessings happen and come to you. You know what I'm saying? Now, if we're out here being shady grady, we're out here being manipulative, we're out here being vicious, evil, then that's what you're inviting into your life. That's the kind of fruit that you're gonna bear, right? But if we're out here, working hard, striving to be good people, genuinely are good people. You are not out here trying to tear anyone down. We're not out here, you know, strategically doing things to harm people. And you ain't got to worry about all that stuff. God will fight those battles for you. He will vindicate you in the end. 
just keep pushing. Oh, see, I'm the kind of person, all that stuff fuels me. You want to be a naysayer or a hater? You want to challenge certain things? That's fine. All that is just going to fuel me to go harder. Um, and maybe that was the extra push I needed before, the, before 2019 came, right? Like, I already know. And that same day when that foolishness happened, I got a phone call, a very important phone call that potentially will propel my brand and my movement into the right direction that it needs to be. Um, and so I was just like, God, you're awesome. Like, <laughs> I don't deserve it. Lord knows I don't as far as I don't always um, honor God the way that I should. Hence, you know, I curse all, whatever. I'm a good person, but you know, I'm not necessarily always living um, the Christian life the way God would call me to, at least in my belief system. But he still always looks out for your girl and I'm like, I see what you're doing, God. So we got the foolery over here, but then we have real amazing, dope opportunities that are coming or have come my way, you know what I'm saying? Um, to help me further along complex simplicity. And I was watching a lot of Joe Button podcast episodes yesterday. You know, I've been busy working. I missed out on a lot. That just continued to fuel and encourage me to keep it pushing, keep it going. A lot of people were naysayers with Joe Button. He was blackballed in the industry. Um, and look at him now. Like, they call him the Howard Stern of, of, of podcasts. You know, he has so many different deals. The Revolt deal. He's on State of the Culture. You know, he got the Joe Button podcast with Rory and Mal. He has other things he hasn't even revealed to us yet that he's working on. All in the course of one year, right? And so that type of stuff just motivates me to, like, keep it going, girl. Because... At the right time, the right people or person is going to take notice of what you've been plugging away at for almost three years now. It's gonna happen, you know? Um, and I believe 2019 is going to be that year to propel my brand to another level um, that I've been working so hard to get to. And so I say all this to say, not to make it all about me and all of that, but just don't give up, y'all. Don't let people out here stop you. Um, discourage you, deter you. You have a vision, you're passionate about this vision that you have, plug away at it. Um, it doesn't matter if everybody is counting you out for various reasons, whether it's jealousy or they just don't believe in your cause. Like, go hard. Move with finesse. You know, everybody didn't believe in the cause that was a part of the project initially, but guess what? We're thriving and we're still building and grinding, but opportunities are coming to us without us even fishing for it, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, I was told that we're probably not the most, um, someone, you know, shared with me, you know, that they, you know, they felt like we probably weren't, they didn't want to attach themselves to this kind of a brand because for whatever reasons, maybe they felt like we weren't good enough, it wasn't professional enough, or it just wouldn't help them. And I respectfully said, okay, I get that. Um, but don't worry because we're on a train that's gonna keep moving and I need people on this train who are about the vision, who are willing to jump off the cliff and take that risk and take that chance. You never know what can happen. And I kid you not, a month after all of that, we're getting opportunities rolling in. Um, and so, and even doing that party, someone else that was at the party wants us to do a party for them. So, you know, Believe in yourself, y'all. I don't even care if it's the closest people to you who don't believe in what you're doing or believe in you, essentially. You got to keep it pushing. Keep working hard, being disciplined, doing your research. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do, but don't give up. Don't give up. Keep moving. Um, you'll be surprised the doors that God can definitely and will definitely open for you. What's for you is for you. I'm a firm believer in that. What's for me is for me. What's for you is for you. And so please be encouraged. Take that with you as we start 2019. Um, and just, you know, plug away at your dreams. Like, there is no time to waste out here, y'all. We ain't got no time to waste. So every day, use that as an opportunity to chip away at whatever it is you're trying to achieve for yourself. Um, love you you know what i'm saying let's let's continue to be 
a focus within our own lives, it's very easy, especially us as women, to like put the needs of others before us, to put the needs of our significant others before ourselves. Like, let's also take care of ourselves. And I'm also speaking to myself as right as I'm speaking right now to you. Let's take care of ourselves and make sure that we are carving out the necessities that we need to give to ourselves, right? Um, checking in. How do I feel about myself? Am I still in love with me? Am I struggling with being in love with me? You know, am I waiting for someone else to come along to love me because I don't love me? You know, um, like let's, let's dig deeper this year. I'm so tired of the surface level conversations. I'm so tired of the surface level, just the way we moving out here. Like let's dig deeper, dig deeper. Um, yeah, so I guess that's about all I have. <laughs> It's almost at 30 minutes. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Yeah, like, I don't know. Oh, let's also think strategically. That seemed to really, really, really help me in 2018. It's funny, I often say at my job, while everybody's playing checkers, I'm playing chess. And um, I don't say that to sound smug or be smug, but just as a way of saying and helping them, once again, a lot of the people that I work with are in their early to mid 20s. And it's just my way of kind of saying to them, you know, this is not just a big sorority or fraternity. They understand that this is a business. 